I'm Flo, and for a month I've been exploring Iran. This country put a spell on me. I was amazed by the kindness of the people, the beauty of the architecture, and the diversity of the landscape. After exploring the islands in the south, I was back in Tehran for my last days. My friend Mirza, who is Iranian and is a tour guide in Tehran, wanted to take me on a food tour through the city. Before, we decided to do cafe hopping. Bars do not exist in Iran, so people go to cafes to hang out. And to say the least, I was positively surprised, especially about the first cafe we went to. I think the average Western person would not expect to have such a cafe in Iran. So there's one of the shows I always watch and I love it and you might recognize it from this sign. Friends! So there's a cafe that is inspired by the show Friends. And we're gonna check it out. This is weird. So you two are the green design is in your freezer. Wasn't expecting to say you're there and saying these things. So we're in this really cool cafe right now. It's run by Afghans and we're trying Afghan food and I'm super excited. It looks very nice. So this is a new one. I'm having a beer in Iran. I'm having a Shams, which sounds Irish, but look what it says. Non-alcoholic, but it looks like a beer. Does it taste like a beer? No. I don't know, the Germans might know Karamas, that's how it tastes like. Okay, don't be weird, uh, check out this sweet toilet seat. I mean, usually they, they have squat toilets, and there's a WhatsApp number on the toilet. I can't, WhatsApp. So this is gonna be exciting because this is what Marissa actually does for a living. So I have nothing but high expectations <laughs> for this tour. And if you wanna check it out, I'll put the link below. If you're in Tehran, you want to do the same, and if I'm still alive to make a video out of this because the food didn't kill me, then you can check it out. Okay, Marissa, why are we doing this food tour in the north? There's a food market. There's a food market, okay. And what's the first stop we're gonna eat? Oh wait, don't tell me, it's gonna be a surprise. Cinnamon and waffles. What do you think is better? Try this. Then we do this. So first thing we try, bread from the north. Very good. Walnuts and cinnamon in it. Iranian Nutella right here. No, probably not. It's wheat. Sweet, is it? Yeah, it comes from fermented process. The more you know. So this is sugar coated with flavors and they put it in the tea, super nice. So we just found the best thing about this tour already, it's a Bayern Munich shirt. I'm, I'm already happy. It's awesome, they love roses here and they put it in like tea and it's amazing. I approve. And look at this. So good. Marissa, why are they white? They are salted, roasted salt. Okay, so I, I like all the foods in Iran, but there's one food I really dread, and that's this. Right here, that's my enemy. So this is yogurt. Drained yogurt, kashk. <laughs> <laughs> is it yummy? The owner is standing right in front of me and I don't want to be rude. <laughs> okay, but I can. It's the full of calcium and we use it for pregnant women and the teenager because it's full of calcium. Ooh. Oh, this is the third time now and I thought maybe it's better this time, but oh, this one was really bad. Why 
black, this is the black. No, this is even worse. <laughs> this is even worse, because this is first, this is the first stage, this is the second stage. This is, a, it evolved, it's like a, a stronger Pokemon right there. Let's get away from here, this is... Yeah. I need to eat something to wash away the taste. Honey, and apparently they eat the whole thing. So they will cut off a bit and put it on the bread. Oh, wow, I eat the whole thing. Yeah. They sell it without honey can and Okay, what are we eating now? We're eating ash. Ash is... It's a heavy soup. It's a heavy soup because it's cold and we need a heavy soup. It's rice, lentils, uh, lentils, 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 yeah. uh, some beans inside, beans. some herbs inside. Then we decided to head to a luxury mall. And immediately I felt like strolling through a mall in the States. The only reminder were the signs to remind women to wear their headscarf. You could tell that people here were the liberal Iranians. There's a Nike store! This confused me as I understood that these products are officially not sold here due to the sanctions. But because Iranians are smart, they buy the products when they are brought and bring them back and then sell them to the stores. That's why you could see some dents in the packaging of toys in the toy store. Then we went to the supermarket in the mall and you could find all the brands we would have in ours. I made one interesting discovery though I've never seen before in a supermarket. Camel milk. And Marissa just translated, it's apparently really close to human milk, which kind of put me off. But before we open it, there's one thing, the expiry date, 98, because it was 20 years ago, or they use a different year here. But anyways, let's try it. Go. <laughs> This is reminding me, whoever watches Simpsons, remember the episode where they make milk out of rats? Ah! They're milking rats! Well, it kind of smells like my camel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this costs 150 euros. You want it? Yeah. I don't want it. Interesting, we tried camel milk. You should make this part of your food tour. Okay, I need something else. This is where we're gonna end the food tour. It was great, had great food, but I think the camel milk that just that might not have been necessary. <laughs> I gotta go home to my hostel now because my stomach is is rebelling. So this is it. <laughs> the rest is good though. They have the weirdest stuff here, like their sausages on a stick. Before going to the airport, I decided to take one last stroll through Tehran. I remembered when I just arrived, how unfamiliar everything was, how excited, yet also a bit cautious I was. It all seemed like forever ago. This country changed me. I was lucky enough to meet amazing and kind people who allowed me to discover their culture in their homes. Strangers that I can now call friends. They allowed me to see the pain that this country is in. The struggle of not always being able to say what you believe. Not always being able to act like you want. This all matured me. Made me think about my privileges. The prejudices we all have about certain places certain people. But most of all, it showed me the beautiful side of being human, of making those real encounters with people. The best about my travels is meeting people and having those real connections. The worst about my travels is saying goodbye to those people. 